this short video, you will learn about the sort of topics in the cybersecurity track on the Masters in Crisis and Security Management. You'll learn why it's important, how we will teach you relevant professional and research skills, and who we are looking for in our course. You might also find out why I'm wearing these funny glasses. The cybersecurity track has four courses, each with a different angle on cybersecurity, and these are some examples. The first course is human behavior and cybersecurity. End users are often blamed for data leaks and for successful cyber attacks. This approach of seeing humans as the weakest link suggests that cyber threats can be mitigated by focusing on the behavior of end users rather than on the way in which information systems are designed. In this course, we will discuss ways in which we can influence people into behaving more securely. We will draw on theories from behavioral change fields, including social influence, behavioral economics, and nudging theory. We will discuss methods to determine the best course of action and how to collect data to measure the effectiveness of behavioral change interventions. The second course is on espionage and war in cyberspace. It adopts a political science perspective to explore how the internet has transformed interstate relations and introduced many new actors onto the scene, from transnational data gobbling giants to troll farms and new tech-savvy activists. We will look at the probability of cyber war and puncture the hype around it. We will also uncover a world of digital espionage where governments and companies steal secrets remotely for profit, security and power. We will examine the impact of cyber conflict on human rights and analyze spyware through the lens of gender politics. The third course is digital justice. Justice can come in all shapes and sizes, criminal justice, social justice, poetic justice, and so on. Maybe we won't have too much of the last one. In this course, we zoom in on the digital appearance of justice, the institutional branch covering the effects of digitalization on police, prosecution, and ministries of justice, and also the substantive branch covering the effects of digitalization on human rights, the rule of law, jurisdiction, and principles. We will tackle cyber threats targeting institutions, the consequences of digital procedures for human rights, and examine the nature of justice itself in the digital age. The fourth course moves from digital justice to digital crime, thematically moving from Batman to the Joker, from Superman to Lex Luthor, and of course, from Wonder Woman to Dr. Poison. The problem of digital crime goes far beyond crimes committed on the internet. Nowadays, almost any crime can leave digital traces. In this course, you will learn how criminals use the internet, what unique challenges cyberspace creates for law enforcement, why we still have no global cybercrime treaty, why transborder access to data in criminal investigations is so problematic, and finally, whether we can really expect governments to fight digital crime alone, and what the role of private industry is in this fight. For this track, we are looking for students who are enthusiastic about thinking through the social implications of digital technologies. No technical background is required. We want people who work hard and who keep up to date with technological developments, judged by what you read and care about, not what model phone, what apps you have, you will be at the center of the learning experience and each course will focus on a specific research skill. So, the more you put in, the more you'll get out. Oh, and back to the glasses. Should I have worn them throughout to prevent facial recognition software building algorithms based on my facial profile? Or should I trust governments and companies to be able to take care of this for me? It's your call. Cool.